is a true story. When my mother still was young, her father died from too much wine. His parents both were hunted in the jungle. She moved into the city in her 20s. Met my father, he courted her. They fell in love and married. On a Tuesday, April morning, his brilliant brain stopped working. My brother's mom and I all sat around crying when it occurred to me that I'd do well to lead our little pride. And so I tried to find my roar and be a lion. And I only show my teeth when I am smiling. I only say I love you when I'm sure. Inside my gentle paws, I've got some devastating claws. And I'm learning what it means to really roar. To protect them from the storm, keep them safe, keep them warm. Music was the fire that I shared. It taught me when in fear to be open and sincere. Because sometimes being brave is being scared. And at the risk of getting burned, I tried to guide the pride to learn to find their own ideas of fire and fan the flame with other stuff to do and see. They left the music all to me. The things that made us lions were not the same. I always show my teeth when I am smiling. I only say I love you when I'm sure. Inside my gentle paws, I've got some devastating claws. And I'm learning what it means to really roar. When all the cubs grew up and we were spread around the earth, I found one day that I'd grown very sick. My bones were filled with holes, my belly hung in rolls, and I was bald where once my mane was thick. I slept and was ashamed. I was quiet, I was tamed. Then they came and stayed and helped me heal inside. And though I had to learn once more to be a lion without a roar, it's not the roar that makes the lion, it's the pride. working to finish a draft of this song sitting, I think, where, in this chair right here where Robin is sitting right now. Uh, in 2012, to play it on this stage uh, 10 minutes later. And a, a, lot of, a lot of songs got written, got started, got worked on, got finished, got workshopped here in, in this room. And this is, this is a song about my, my love for music and a song about how my father taught me to play music. And in about, in about two weeks' time, uh, I'm going to become a father for the first time. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a cub. <laughs> and so I, uh, Robin, this is for you and for all of those who are fathers or who, who have fathers. Or, my father has an old guitar, and he plays me folk songs. My father has an old guitar, and he plays me folk songs. There is nothing I want more than to play like him. He goes to the basement and builds me a cookie tin banjo. He builds me a cookie tin banjo. The strings are made of rubber bands, the strap is an old red necktie. The body is the big round lid of a metal cookie tin. When he plays his old guitar, I play my cookie tin banjo. Play my cookie tin banjo right along with him. The 
more we play together, the more I fall in love with music. And I realize that my banjo is a toy that I've outgrown. I want strings of steel and something new and something real. And so he gets me a guitar to call my own. And then dad says to me on this fine afternoon, let's sit on the stairs, I'll teach you to tune. He hands me a pick, one that's little and black. He shows me the G chord. I've never looked back. Now buried somewhere in a closet is my cookie tin banjo. In my arms is my guitar, my greatest source of joy. And for the life that I have now, I'm grateful to my father, who gave the gift of music to his boy. It started with a simple homemade 